Hey students, this is Miss Pink, and I am going to show you how to do the problems uh, on your practice math test, the ones that are, have triangles, so number 16 through 21. All right, so the first thing that we need to remember is we need to remember SOHCAHTOA. So here we have SOHCAHTOA, and what SOHCAHTOA stands for is sine of some angle, we're going to call it theta, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine of some angle theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And last but not least, tangent And I always draw my T's like this um, because in physics we do a lot of plus signs uh, next to T's and I want to make sure that I know the difference. So don't get confused that my T is weird on the bottom. It's just to make things easier. Um, so tangent of my angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. All right, so now we need to be able to look at our triangle and be able to identify which side is which on our triangle. So the first thing that we need to know is that in physics, we're gonna always assume that if it looks like a right angle, it is. So this is our right angle, it's always a 90. Um, and then we are going to pick one side to be our angle that we're gonna work with right now. So let's say this is our angle that we're gonna use as our theta angle, okay. So adjacent is going to be the side that touches it and touches the 90 degree angle. So this side is going to be our adjacent. But let's say instead, if my triangle, if I was using the angle up here as my angle theta, then this side would be my adjacent side of the triangle. Opposite is a side that is on the opposite side. It does not touch the angle theta here at all. So opposite is gonna be all the way on the other side. So this is my opposite. And on this triangle over here, this side is going to be our opposite. So you always have to look for where is the angle, and then you know that the one that touches it is adjacent, and the one that's opposite is far away. And that leaves us with the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is going to be the one that does not touch your 90 degree angle. So this is my hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always going to be the longest side of the triangle. So watch the next video and I'll show you how to do the next problem.